hello guys welcome back to arbx codex and today again a java tutorial based on ide i'm using again netbeans id 8.0.2 well today's video is different because uh, from now the next three videos will be focusing on date and time function of java which i will be doing using netbeans 1 point oh sorry 8.0.2 so what will i do in today's video is i will today i will be showing you that how can you take date and time from user to use in your application means the user will run your application and he or she will can be and can uh, will be able to enter date or time in your java application so i'm showing you that how can you do this today with a very simple example so first of all before starting the uh, date date function you need a control a swing container control that is j calendar you can see here is no j calendar there is no j calendar in this uh, whole palette there is no j calendar you will not find j calendar if you are using 8.0.2 in the previous versions of netbeans there are j calendar inbuilt but in the latest uh, versions there are no j calendar by default so how can you just use that control it's very simple i uh, this is this is a website you can here i am having a link j calendar 1.4 zip i will download this and install it install it in my pc well uh, in the description box i have mentioned this link so no need to worry I have already downloaded it and it's in my downloads folder here we go you can see this j calendar 1.4 simply i will extract all because i need to use the control j calendar before uh, letting the user to enter uh, date in my uh, java application it's very important that you get j calendar so you can see it's unzipped this was the zip pack and this is unzipped here j calendar 1.4 i will be going to library you can see here the jar files executable jar files java archive files so how can i import this control in my netbeans simply going to netbeans and windows not windows tools palette swing out components and here you can see add from jar clicking add from jar and now you have to browse the folder where you have that library of j calendar it's in my downloads so going to downloads j calendar 1.4 library and here we go j calendar 1.4 double click it then next okay so these are all components that will be available to you if you import this so you have to choose that which control do you want or you can simply make multiple selection like i need this to this to this to this to but i only need j calendar clicking next and you can see swing containers controls these are the palette categories in which you want your j calendar and i want in my j container so clicking j container and finish close I think we need to restart it restarting my netbeans okay you can see here j calendar the j calendar control now i am going to design this form okay so picking up a j calendar putting it up here you need a large form and just simply i am changing the layout to null because i need to enlarge it and the second j calendar here because i will be taking two dates so that you can simply understand that how i am doing this it's not difficult it's easy it's easy okay now i need to show you that yes the date function is working using j calendar so two labels and two text fields simply show you and 
as a very simple IDE application a button is required simply ok uh, date from calendar 1 and date from calendar 2 okay so it's ready okay so this is the application here you can see two calendars and user will uh, enter a date here and then choose a date here you can change months from here you can change year from here any date and what I will do just break in uh, while pressing uh, ok key date from this calendar will be shown here the date from this calendar will be shown here so how can I do that let's do the programming part now I'll be coding in the button J button 1 titled as ok events action action performed ok now here we go it's not a very difficult program it's a bit easy first of all simple date format just name it as f is equal to new simple date format a constructor line importing it it's imported here okay then next taking two variables date d1 giving it a value of null and date d2 giving it a value of null because we are taking two dates again importing util.date error gone now because there can be error so using the try catch now let's start the block programming d1 is equal to format dot actually let's take this variable as okay this is f dot parse f dot format we are taking from j j calendar one let's check the name once this is j calendar one dot get date okay date i will uh, explaining you i am explaining this we will be taking a date from a user then it will be par parsed into the simple date format same doing with the second date okay this is done that's all for try now coming up to catch if there is any exception then e dot print stack trace Now simply setting the date to the two, we have here uh, two text fields, setting the date here.
that's all let's check it by running it so from the calendar one let's see I'm choosing I'm choosing a date from let's take it as 2006 and July or just May take it 15 okay so you can see here the date of from the calendar one is imported here and let's take today's date okay there is one problem I think okay so here is it date x field 2 I made a simple mistake okay so one thousand eight and second this that's all for today and uh, I'll be back with the new video for the same topic because the next two videos are also uh, focusing on date and time format that's for that's all for today thank you